what I just did was a complete and utter mistake. Me and my girlfriend at the time were in a five-year relationship, so it was pretty serious. And this is the only time I ever did cheat on her. In the run-up to Valentine's Day, I wanted to investigate the cautionary tales of relationships. What is cheating? How common is it? And what is the cheater's perspective on adultery? This is Callum, a self-confessed and remorseful cheater. When I was DJing, I noticed a girl that I had been in contact with on Facebook and she invited me back to her house. It was a really big house, it was a beautiful house and I started to talk to her about it, I was really impressed and I just was acknowledging that and she had invited me to look around the, the house and give me a quite a tour and just as she brought me up to the bedroom she, we kind of started talking in the bedroom, we sat down on the bed and yeah that's how things happened there. Uh, one thing led to another but I, I wish I had told her I always do always tell her like she still doesn't know to this day and uh, maybe it's just a factor of it wasn't meant to be that she didn't know but I do really wish I told her and I still do to this day I wish I told her because I feel like she deserves to know I spoke to Dr. Jacqueline Cravens, an associate professor at Texas Tech University and licensed marriage and family therapist, to find out what are the motivations for cheating. So why do people actually engage in affairs? I think society tends to believe really strongly in what we would refer to as the relationship deficit explanation behind it, that people have an affair because there's something wrong within their committed partnership. And while that does happen, it's not always the reason why or the motivation behind why people have an affair. Um, sometimes people feel bored with their life, not just within their relationship, and this is a way to have some kind of new excitement in their life. Um, they have lost a connection to themselves in some important way, and maybe the affair has very little to do with their partner or their relationship, but they're individually getting something from that process. You also see situational reasons where it's an unplanned affair. It, it kind of happens. They stumble into it. Maybe they weren't intending to violate those boundaries of their relationship, but circumstantial things happen and an affair occurs. Sexual desire is also a common reason as well. So whether there's a lack of sexual fulfillment within their committed relationship, which is they're not having sex in the way that they feel comfortable asking for from their partner, or lack of sexual desire in the sense that there, there may be divergent desire within the relationship. Other, other motivating factors may include personality factors. So individually, somebody may be high in neuroticism or narcissism. Research has also shown that that can be a motivating factor behind why people have affairs. Um, and then probably the last reason that I would highlight is more recently we've seen some research that has shown for women specifically disproportionate labor within the marriage may be a reason that pushes women to step out of their committed partnerships to defy these traditional gender roles. So they may believe that there's an imbalance in labor division. It creates resentment towards their partner. They're then feeling unfulfilled within their relationship and they may step out of the relationship and engage in an affair. Have you ever cheated on someone? Yeah. <laughs> 70%, I'm telling you, 70% of all people have cheated. Why did you do? Uh, again, my needs weren't met in the relationship. Have you ever cheated on someone? I have not. And have you ever been cheated on? I have not. Actually, it's more normalized to cheat on relationships than in the past, for example. Um, I personally never cheat in a relationship and I hope I've never been cheated, however I cannot confirm it so far. No, genuinely have not, came close to it loads of times but I have not been a real friend, no. Okay. No, never, I wouldn't. I haven't been in a relationship before so I haven't been cheated on. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> and then have you ever been cheated on? As far as I know, not. I haven't been cheated on, nor have I cheated on someone, but I feel very like if you're in a relationship with someone and they cheat or they're going to cheat, then it's as simple as you shouldn't be in a relationship with them. Like if you're going to do something that's... The whole point of like being together is that you want to be with that person more than anything else. 
And if you're at a point where you're like, you want to be with someone else more than the relationship, then you need to just end it. Finally, I spoke to two individuals who had the misfortune of being cheated on, Claire and Andrew. A couple of friends of mine actually knew that it was going on, but nobody told me. And when I found out, it was, my boyfriend at the time was out at his graduation party um, and I was at his house and I came across some chats on his laptop. So that's how I found out. Um, and it was just a really awkward situation because I knew that I was going to have to confront him when he got home and I was in his house. You know, you, people tend to keep out of others' business, but when you know that something's going on behind somebody's back, it's just, and nobody has the decency to tell the person who's being cheated on. It's just, it's unfortunate. Eventually, um, we did part ways. It obviously d it didn't work out in the end um, because the cheating continued. So they did live happily ever after though, which is, which is the funny side of it, I suppose. They they got back together and yeah, <laughs> they got married. Yeah, so I was in a relationship for four years and it was all good. Everything was going fine. And then a month before our fourth anniversary, she started becoming friends with this uh, person from work that she had like previously said that um, she didn't like for some reason. But then they started hanging out and they she said, oh yeah, we're, we're out drinking just us two and I was at a family event and I knew kind of instantly something was wrong I was like this there's something up here like she didn't she said she didn't like him now they're out drinking and then it ended I think they had kissed then and yeah I think that was I still even gave a chance after that then it was the week after they just them two went out on a night out and I was like right I'm done so then I had to end it then I do think cheating has a lot to do with like um bit like ego type of thing and if you're if you don't feel good enough then you need the approval of someone else outside of your relationship to be like I'm still I'm still good looking or I'm still desired by other people when someone that's fully um confident in themselves would be happy in themselves they don't need anyone else and they can be happy enough with just their partner <laughs>